<laughs> it's like, what was he doing with my drapes? The drapes that were hanging in the apartment. I never got the answer to that. Hi, this is Carrie from Sky Properties and someone just asked me why you shouldn't neglect leaks. And it made me laugh because it seems like that would be a very obvious answer. But um, I was just told that there's another management company out there and I won't say who, um, that likes to ignore leaks. So what are the problems with that? Well, there's a couple of things. Of course, if the leak is inside, uh, you could end up with a serious mold problem and serious damage to your apartment or apartment building. If it's outside, what could be the problem? Well, uh, a huge water bill. If a water leak gets out of control and starts seeping through stucco or going up through the floors because the water has gotten so high, I would say any and every leak you probably want to attend to, and this could be just clamping it off if you really just don't want to deal with it, but I don't recommend just letting something leak. Inside a, the unit, you want to make sure that you find the source of the leak immediately, and then you want to cut out anything wet around it so that it can dry properly. All of my maintenance men are mold and lead certified so they can handle these types of projects. and. It's important that you find someone that knows what they're doing and that not only fixes the plumbing leak, but that gets in there and starts taking corrective action to make sure that no further damage is done from the initial leak. For outside, if you have a leak, this is what normally happens at Sky. We get a DWP bill and we see that the water usage is gigantic for no reason whatsoever. The first thing we do is go unit to unit and inspect everything and do a plumbing inspection because believe it or not, if you have 32 units and half of those units have running to toilets, that could explain a high water bill. So you want to first look inside the units, you want to look under sinks, you want to check to make sure toilets aren't running and you want to look to make sure you don't see any obvious staining on the walls. So start inside your units. If you don't find anything there, then your next step is to look outside. So if you've walked your property and you can't find anything obvious, you would want to call a leak detection company that would come out and try to locate the leak. DWP has a process to hopefully get some of your money back um, from the leak if the leak was underground and you have an invoice that you can submit then you just follow the process that DWP has to get a refund.